hello guys welcome to a new blender tutorial i was asked to make this one by a user who bought this character from gumroad and wanted to know how to use the same rig for another character so maybe you bought one of these characters maybe this one or maybe this kid here or maybe you just followed the tutorials and made your own rig and you want to know it's an easy process but with this rig it's easier than with this rig the process that you want need to repeat is the process done before generating the rigify rig and anything after that you will need to redo that work so here we have bendy bones ready and we have also ik ready while here you will have to do that again so for the people who already bought this guy from our gumroad i sent them to their email a coupon code that gives them a 50 percent discount for this rig so let's start first let's go to object mode let's select our character here and duplicate it with shift d let's go here and take this kid here let's name it kid 2 and then i want to create a new collection and name it also kid let's take our guy here and put it inside the new collection and let's go to modifier properties and remove the armature modifier okay now we can hide kid one collection i want to edit this guy so that it doesn't have the same proportion as the other one so edit mode i have to select all the layers so i go here and lock all the layers and then select everything and then sz to resize it on z axis only then go to object mode and then g z and move it here so that his feet are on the ground and now we unhide our meta rig here and i want to duplicate it too so shift d duplicate it and hide our first meta rig let's put it inside the kid collection and rename this to kid to meta rig i want to go here b bones and change this to octahedra so that we can go to edit mode and start fitting our rig to our new character tab into edit mode and we start moving this bone i will do it quickly you take your time in this mode maybe how is it called solid mode where we have transparency and we can see the the x-ray of the character i select this bone with this ball here and move them together so that i make my life a little bit easier g and then z to move it just on the z axis again this ball z and move it here for the neck we select the whole bone and g c move it here maybe this ball and move it a little bit up and this bone let's make it a little bit shorter and then let's hide it so that we can select the mouth with h and then we select the whole mouth and move the whole body like this you see that it's wider than our new mouth so we can select the upper part let's hide these two bones the teeth bone and the tongue bone h and then we select the upper part and then gz like this and then the lower part shift to select this bone gz and up a little bit maybe again select this bone and move it up now it moves only alone so let's select like this and then shift select the bone and then gz yes now we can move the eyes and the lids gz i think i'm gonna move the lids let's select them both and then gz and then let's space them a little bit gx like this and then gx like this the so eyebrows gz and move them here and now we can generate our rig so let's go back here back to object mode object data properties and to generate but you see that we have regenerate rig so what this will do if we click this button is that it will regenerate the first kid rig this is a useful feature if you want to make edits on your meta rig and then you regenerate and update your rig without the need of doing all the parenting again and everything but here we don't need this so let's hide this collection again we need to generate a new rig so we go here under advanced and we delete all these here the overwrite existing we don't need to overwrite anything so let's delete these three and then we hit 
get generate to rig and voila so we can put this rig here inside the kit 2 collection maybe the two rigs put them inside the kit 2 collection and then hide our meta rig and we can parent our object to our rig so select the object shift select the armature and then control p set parents with empty groups we should be done i think we select the rig alone we go to pose mode and we try to move it and it moves it works the ik also works we can flip the leg like this we can make the mouth smile i guess we don't even have to weight paint again because we just change the dimensions of the same character but if you create a new character of course you will need to uh, do the weight painting again and also you will have to set some drivers for like this hand and this hand too to be able to switch hands so this is it guys as i said if someone uh, bought this guy before and and is interested in buying this updated rig there is a discount of 50 percent that i sent to your emails guys thank you very much for your support and if you don't want to buy it of course you can follow just follow the instructions in the tutorials and you can make this rig yourself thank you for watching and see you in another video peace